So it looks like there is some trouble in paradise for Larsa Pippen and her man, her man, her man, Marcus Jordan. Because Marcus's father, Michael Jordan, just put their entire relationship on blast. Hey, Mr. Jordan, what do you think about Marcus and Larsa Pippen together? You approve of it? No. You don't approve? Do you think he's going to ask her to marry him? Michael has made it more than clear that he believes that Larsa might have groomed his son and he is now putting her on blast for being inappropriate. Michael is also spilling some tea about the relationship and it looks like things are creepier than we knew. Um, did Larsa really meet Marcus when he was only six years old? So it turns out that Larsa Pippen was serving up some bold faced lies when she claimed that everyone in her circle was fine with her dating Marcus. Cause it turns out that not only are they not fine with her dating Marcus, but a lot of people are not here for the relationship. Well, if you're wondering why people aren't here for this relationship, it's because people found it downright creepy. First off, there's the issue of the massive age gap between them. For those who don't know, Larsa is 16 years older than Marcus is, and that has led to a lot of discussions online about whether or not the age gap is appropriate. Now, fans are mostly split about this drama because while some feel like the age gap is weird and kind of creepy, others feel like both Marcus and Larsa are adults and they should be able to do whatever they want want. Marcus isn't a minor and some fans believe that nobody should try to police his dating life. But the number one reason that the relationship is getting a lot of backlash was the fact that people believe that they had known each other since Marcus was literally a child and Larsa was a fully grown woman. If you haven't yet made the connections between these two, well let me break it down for you. Marcus is the second son of NBA legend Michael Jordan and his first wife Juanita Jordan. And Larsa is Scottie Pippen's ex-wife. Now for for those of y'all who still haven't made the rainbow connection, Scotty and Michael played together on the NBA team, the Chicago Bulls, back in the 90s. At the time, Scotty and Larsa were already married and Marcus was already born. And if you know anything about the NBA, then you know that basketball families often hang out together outside of games. It's very common for NBA families to at least have a cordial relationship outside the court. And since Scotty and Michael were on the same team, it goes without saying that their families would have socialized at one point or another. Yeah, I know that Scotty and Michael had some crazy beef and rivalry even though they were on the same team, but it still doesn't change the fact that they were teammates and their families would have known each other even if they weren't besties. So what this means is that Larsa has known Marcus since he was six or seven years old and she was a grown woman in her 20s. Even though he is no longer a child, people still find it super creepy that she would even be remotely attracted to someone that she known since they were a child. But listen, I'm not judging. I'm just trying to let y'all know what people are saying and why a lot of people might not be here for this relationship. Now, Larsa did come out and deny that she knew Marcus when he was a child, claiming that she never ran into him as a child. She left a comment under a post by the Shade Room saying, I just met him three years ago. I never knew him or his family. I was 21 years old and in college when Scotty played that one year with NJ, and we weren't friends with them like everyone thinks. But the streets were not buying it. People still didn't believe her, and she was forced to address the allegations again in an interview with Tamron Hall, where she claimed that they met four years ago at a party. Well, I feel like we, we literally just met at a party um, four years ago. Oh, really? And we were just friends. Because we we all lived in Chicago. And yeah. When did you meet him? Four years ago. Four years at where? At a party. Then? At a party, I, like an LA party. Did you know who he was at the time? Well, yeah, we're, we have a lot of mutual friends. Again, people really didn't buy into this and felt like she was just trying to protect herself from getting dragged and bullied on social media. Because honestly, the backlash has been crazy. But then as people pointed out, the reason she's getting backlash is because she's trying to be super sneaky about it from the very start. Almost as if she knew that she was doing something wrong. People pointed out how she didn't even want to acknowledge the relationship at first. An insider spilled the tea about the relationship saying, Larsa and Marcus Jordan are casually hanging out. The two have a lot of the same friends in common, so they have been around one another a lot and enjoy hanging out. They are having fun together. They also added, Larsa's divorce from Scotty was finalized at the beginning of this year and she's enjoying that freedom. But maybe Larsa wasn't ready to go public with the relationship or something like that. But when she was asked about the rumors, she flat out denied them, claiming that she was just friends with Marcus. People say you're dating. I have a lot of friends. 
I've been very social. I, I was married for 23 years. Like this is the time for me to really like hone in on my relationships. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Unfortunately, this turned out to be yet another lie that she was caught in. A few weeks after she denied dating Marcus, paparazzi pictures of them kissing quickly went viral and people slammed Larsa for lying. Now the interesting part about this is that Larsa admitted that she and Marcus first started hanging out when she stored his name under a fake alias. She said, I could never really put you under your name in my phone, so I had you under Mark Jacob. I didn't want anyone to know when you called me. Even though it sounded like she was just trying to keep her life private, some people took this to mean that she was hiding the relationship because she knew that there was something wrong with it and didn't want people in her inner circle to call her out for it. Well, it's been almost a year now and they are still going strong. An insider recently confirmed their romance in People Magazine saying, they are dating and happy. They're having fun. She's trying her best to keep it quiet and not make a big deal out of it. They see each other at least a few times a week. Now one question that has been on everybody's minds is how on earth both families have been handling the relationship. Like I said before, Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen had some crazy beef that they still haven't gotten over after all these years. So how on earth would Michael take it knowing that his son was dating his nemesis' his ex-wife? Well according to Larsa, everybody in the family took Took it well and they were all fine with the relationship. Have you met Michael Jordan and Juanita Jordan and what did they say about the relationship? You know I don't really I mean of course I recently have met you know I've recently been hanging out with them um, but I don't really want to talk about them I feel like it's not about you know my parents or his parents they're all happy our whole family's fine. So she basically said that Michael was completely fine with the relationship and while she didn't exactly spell it out she also hinted that Scotty didn't exactly have an issue with the relationship but it turns out that what she wasn't being honest about was the Michael Jordan part because he recently revealed that he does not approve of the relationship. He was in Paris a couple of days ago and when the paparazzi asked if he approved of Marcus and Larsa's relationship, this is what he had to say. Hey Mr. Jordan, what do you think about Marcus and Larsa Pippen together? You approve of it? You don't approve? Do you think he's going to ask her to marry him? So it looks like somebody named Larsa was doing a bold faith lie about how Michael really felt about the relationship. And a lot of people aren't surprised to learn that he is not in support of their relationship. But it looks like his feelings run even deeper than that because an insider revealed that Michael has been creeped out by the relationship from the very start. Allegedly, he finds it very predatory that Larsa would even be remotely attracted to his son in an intimate manner. And he did not hold back on his thoughts because he made it very clear to her and Marcus. However, he knows that he has to accept that Marcus is old enough to make his own decisions. So even though he's not accepting of Larsa, he has no other choice but to look the other way. But it looks like Marcus is not here for his dad giving his two cents about the relationship because he immediately arranged for an interview with ET where he tried to claim that everyone misunderstood his dad's comments. He said, I think my family just wants to see me happy. And so as long as I'm happy, they're happy with the unit know where I'm living. Everybody had an opinion at first. I think there was some shock and interest early on, but I think that was the whole point of us trying to spend some family time together. Somebody commented, wait, Larsa Pippen married Scotty Pippen in 1997 when Marcus Jordan was six to seven years old and Scotty and Michael were playing for the Bulls? It's giving rumor. Another person said, we didn't need anyone to tell us Larsa was lying. She lives on her own planet. We all watched the last dance no way he was on board and this other person tweeted y'all remember that interview larsa pippen did with tamra hall talking about she was good with marcus's parents and that everyone seemed on board well either she was lying or things took a turn because michael jordan said he ain't f with that woman yeah it doesn't seem like michael and larsa are going to be besties anytime soon but i want to know what y'all think about this drama do you think larsa was really lying about being accepted by michael or was it a miss understanding and do you think that it's right for michael to keep talking about his grown son's relationship let me know what you think in the comments and then check out this next video